Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my spec file. So, where we left off earlier is, um, let me just type the password in here. I used, uh, I believe I used Pi. So, we're, we're at this spot, but we don't want to run this, this, this portion yet until, um, until we edit the spec file. So, let's edit the spec file, and I'm going to open, I'm going to show you my spec file, I'm going to show you what I did to get it to work. Everybody's a little bit different. So, here, I hope, let me see if I can zoom in, here we go, zoom in. Can I zoom in further? I think there's a control uh, button for this. Uh, it's control plus. Okay. Let's control plus this. Okay. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe a little more. Here we go. So the title, uh, you're going to fill it in is whatever you want. I'd name the local. That's the name of my app. Package name, same thing. I just, you can name it anything. It's not really that important. Uh, here is package domain. Uh, I just use org. You can use the same thing, org and test or whatever you want to call it. You can call it local. There we go. And this is says of course where your main. So you have to name your Python file main. So let me show you on mine uh, where, where I put it. So my uh, well I haven't I haven't put it here yet. Okay, so that's the great thing about here having a, a link to here it is. Here's my local file. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this into my home directory where the where bulldozer lives. So here's the bulldozer. Here are all my files. I'm gonna can I paste? Hmm. Let's go back again and try that again. Local copy home. Let's go into bulldozer. Well, anyways, you want to get your files here somehow. Um, so if you look at my, uh, first of all, okay, let me just pause this and see if I can get this to work. Okay, it looks like it's copying right now. I'll take a look here. It's copying, but it's taking quite some time. So let me just go through the spec file first. Here we go. Let's open this up. Is this the one? Hold on. Let's uh, let's make this bigger. There we go. Here, where your source, source file is. Again, you need to name your main. You need It has to have... Main pie. So you gotta change the name to whatever you have a name, and you gotta change it to main pie. And the dot means the current directory. So this is the bulldozer directory, right? So if you stick your folder in here, so you gotta go to your folder name and to your main py. And I'll show you a little bit later. Okay, so you un and don't forget to uncomment these because before they were previously commented, so I uncomment these. Over here, sources. Um, you can put it just as many sources as you want uh, because if it's th if it's there in your folder, then it'll it'll add. So you can just add as many things. Like you don't know what's gonna be in your file. You can, you can limit it if you want, but I, I see no harm in putting everything. Um, if you go down here, there's nothing you need to do. Uh, version, you can put whatever version number you want. So that's that. And again, I'm gonna put this in the description of exactly what you need to edit, so, but I'm just going through this a little slowly. Okay, over here, full screen. You want to put a well. I, I assume if it's gonna be on your phone, you're gonna want it at full screen. So before I think it was zero, I changed mine to one. That's full screen. Here is the Android splash. I think I uncomment this, so it's FFF. That's white. I gotta play around around with these settings to see what the stuff we can do. Okay. Um. Here, yes, this is sort of important. Again, uh, Android API 30 as high as possible. Uh, actually, you know what? I think that might have to be a uh, 28. Yeah, I think I think I, I came across some problems earlier. It will let me do it. So you may want to keep that at 28. And then over here, um, APK file. Again, okay, maybe you should leave everything as default. I believe this was default. This was default. This was default as well. Um, I believe this was also default. So it should leave everything as default. Um, keep going down here. This one here. Um, I basically I uncommented I, I I before I had some trouble, but um actually this should be just dot and it should be um it should be common so you should not have this at all same thing with this like hopefully if everything goes properly then you don't need to download those extra stuff and it should be common so this should be commented and this should be commented if it's if it's not if it's not going down if you're if if you're having problems then you may have to download them but hopefully you don't. Same thing, that's all commented it out. Um, that's okay, that's fine. Everything is commented, everything here is commented. And I have to show you some important parts that you need to do. 
So everything's commented. Um, yeah, so this looks like almost everything is commented. Oh, here, this is this is really, really important. So here, you want to uncomment this and put this down. This um, Here, this is the debug because things happen and you need to figure out why your program is not working. And this allows you to figure it out. And that's, I had to figure out why my program was, wasn't working. So this really helped. Um, and I'll tell you what my problem was. So hopefully you don't come across that. Here, I believe this here, this one, or you can, you can pick this one, or you can pick this one, this this one here. But I'm not quite sure what these other ones uh, will do. But I believe this is the one I picked here. This ARM64. I assume we're running off 64 bits. Um, I just allowed the backup true. I think that's default as well. Everything here is pretty much default. Default. Okay, some important parts are coming up. Okay, so this might be an important part because I was having tr problems and it wouldn't run for me until I changed this part to 10, uh, 0, 2, 2. Before it was empty. So um, this is Python for Android. So you may want to change this to 10, 4, 2. Uh, I left, this is, this is comment, this is uh, comment out, that's default. Here, previously this was master branch. So you may want to turn it into developer mode. And so that's that's one thing you need to do. That's also important. Um, everything else here. This is another important part. I believe there was nothing here before. So you want to choose web view. If, if you're using Kiwi, you may want to put Kiwi, but I'm using we're using Flask. So web view is what you want. And here you may want to change your port number to whatever your port number is in your Python file. If you're not using a port number in your Python file, it will automatically default to 5,000. So if you, if you look at my Python file, I'll show you my Python file in in a second. And I think that's about it. Everything else is um, everything else is so again the most important and this is going to be in the description. The most important part is this. I believe this is really important. So web view, you want to get that, and you want to get make sure this is a developer mode, not master mode. For some reason, master is a default. From what I can hear, there's a default in that, and this might be important. So again, I'm gonna put all the changes in in, in the description, and let's go. Okay, so that's that. Um, and you can change, oh, actually, you know what, let's go back there again, because there's something that, um, sorry about that, I know it makes your eyes dizzy when you see stuff, actually, I think it was back over here, spec file, okay, there was actually something else that, that, um, I want to mention is the splash screen, and the logo and splash, splash screen, so if you go back to the top, I believe it's down here somewhere, here we go, file icon and splash screen, so this one, I have it. Uh, I have it commented out, but if you want to put a splash screen or a logo, you may want to uncomment this, and then put the the directory where it's located. So you want to get rid of all this here, here, and then put where your where your stuff is, where uh, your logo is. I have is, is a PNG, and the same thing. Your icon is a, is a PNG. So that's one thing you want to do. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's get out of this, and let's go back. To here, so here's my uh, file. It looks like it is completely copied. Yep, yeah, it's completely copied. So if you look into my file, here's my main py. So you have to change it to main py, and then everything else here is all my um, other files. If you go to that, uh, if you go to static, you have my JavaScript files, hooks, pages. So all this is all JavaScript. So this is a comprehensive app I made. It's not a simple pipe. It's not a simple app. It's comprehensive. So you may change this to main here, main, and you want, and make note of it. So it's in local. So you want to put this file inside this bulldozer file. So I just put it there. Well, it should be popping up here. So you want you want your main file here, and um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, that's it for this video. Up to next.